Hey y'all, it's Janine, and I'm living life with a twist, and I am going to be bringing uh, you the sunscreen video. I have lots to say, and so in this video, you'll definitely be seeing me um, at home talk about uh, some more things, um, but first, if you like this or any of our other videos, please hit thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell notification, and you're going to want to see all of our videos. So, okay, sunscreen, oh my goodness, it's a passion of mine. Um, what to buy, what not to buy. People sometimes they don't know, they don't know the, the rules for the FDA and everything, but um, Hawaii is now the first state that has drafted and passed legislation in the House. As far as I know, it's just sitting on the governor's desk getting ready to be signed, um, banning two chemical sunscreens because it actually has been known to kill the coral reefs in Hawaii. They don't want their reefs to die. We don't need them to die. Um, but you think about those chemicals and what it's doing to our coral reefs and our oceans and what is that doing to your skin? Well, I'll tell you what, a long time ago I did use some of the chemical sunscreens and I'm going to show you exactly um, what I used. Okay, I do believe it was the, no, it was not the Neutrogena. It, I used a different form of the Neutrogena, but basically it's all the same. You have the, the avibenzones the octicylene, the oxybenzone, the octisalate. Okay, so the two actual chemicals that have been banned now in Hawaii, and I'm hoping that California will follow suit because if California follows suit, then the entire nation will have to follow suit because it's too expensive to be just providing those products for one state and not the rest when it's the size of California. But it's the oxybenzone and the, let's see, yes, the oxybenzone. And let me see over here. The octinoxate. Okay, at home I'm actually gonna show them to you how they're spelled. Those two specific sunscreens, um, chemical sunscreens, are now gonna be banned in Hawaii. You need to have an actual prescription from a doctor to be using them, but they're just not good for you anyway. A couple of years ago, I read that they thought that maybe these chemical sunscreens would only work for three hours on your face and then they would turn around and start to break down your skin. Well, that was enough for me. I started using kids and babies. Here's the problem, babies. Let me find the kids right here. Babies and kids. It used to be safe. I used to know that when I went to the store and pick up babies or kids that by FDA law, they could only be the zinc oxides, the titanium dioxides, the, the white powdery substance that comes up out of the earth and is a physical blocker that does not do any damage. Very quietly, the FDA rolled back legislation and they started with the kids about two years ago. They said it was okay and now they let chemical sunscreens in for the babies, knowing full well that they're not okay. They are not okay. So what do you do if you're a darker skin tone? Because please, I know I'm white. I get any whiter, I'm gonna be clear. So when I use these titanium dioxides and zinc oxides like I do, I have several at home and I'll be showing you what I have. The Neutrogena baby. By the way, Neutrogena, if you're listening, I don't like your new improved formula, but I use it anyway. I like the old one. Yes, it is whiter. Yes, I have light skin, and so it kind of diffuses. You can't tell when I'm wearing it. However, what does Equate make? Lovely. Clear. Not sure how they do it. Not sure if I want to know, but I will find out. Clear zinc sunscreen in a broad spectrum 50 for face and lips. So if you have a darker skin tone, my friend, this is the product for you. And it's actually coming home with me so I can do a product review. So let's just throw that in the cart. Okay, now, like I said, you need to turn around and look. Kids and babies, when it says that on there, it's no longer safe. And please, when you get these things, they are a waste of freaking time. The spraying, not only are they chemical sunscreens, but half of it goes up in the air, and whatever you think that you're spraying when you're at the beach or at the pool, no, it goes up in the air, you waste your money, you release all that crap up into our ozone, and it gets into our water, yes, our drinking table. Not only is that in Hawaii, where of course they're gonna be using incredible amounts of sunscreen with people around there, but it's washing down into the ocean and killing the coral reefs. So think about it, people. Do you really want something that's killing coral reefs on your face? Probably not. Next time you see me, I'm gonna be at home and talking about the different products that I use. Okay, y'all, I'm back home, and as promised, I was gonna continue this video, and I printed off something. Um, this is an infographic, and it shows the two, well, the toxicity levels this at the bottom, of course, not toxic, and that's the titanium dioxide and zinc oxide that comes out of the ground. 
So you have the oxybenzone being the most toxic, followed by the octinoxate, which is the second top most toxic. I'm going to get in there so it can not be blurry. Okay, and of course I encourage you to please Google. Um, so, first off, that equate thing that I threw in the car, uh, cart and said I was going to do a product review, BS. I call BS on you, Walmart, and your equate brand. Okay, I'll tell you why. Because on the back, which was sealed up in plastic with um, an attached to cardboard, you saw when I threw or I showed it to you and threw it in there, into the cart, it conceals the fact that, oh, it has octinoxate and oxybenzone in it. I'm like, what? Yes, you could not tell. On the package, it makes it seem like it has titanium dioxide and zinc oxide only. So that's why you really need to know what you're looking at. And even I got duped. Even I got sold up the creek here. And I bought this and can't take it back now because that makes me mad. Yes, I spent some money on it. And, well, Walmart, I got to be honest, because you're the only game in town, that's why we shop there. But there's a lot of things I don't like about you. And this is just another one on the list. So it says clear zinc. No. Like I said, I don't know how they do that, but I'm going to find out. It wasn't hard once I got home. It really bothered me, though, because I did use it at least once. And the fact is, is that, going back to this infographic, oxybenzone and the octinoxate are known as hormone disruptors. That's right, hormone disruptors that you're putting on your skin, which is the largest organ in your body. So, um, I guess let me just probably leave it at that, hormone disruptors and other things. It's... Like I said, I encourage you to do your own research because don't just take my word for it. I'm just sounding the alarm. You need to go out and do your own research. So this is going in the trash. Mm, screw you, Walmart. I'm going to be nice. Equate brand, you just really made me angry. Especially because I threw out the packaging like a dummy. Because I read, I believed what I read. Thank God they still have to put, even if it's on the back, in the tiniest lettering, they still have to put the other active ingredients. So I'm not going to put that in my body. Absolutely not. And, you know, like I said, with the kids and the babies, you have to look at what you're looking at. So, okay, here is Safe Harbor. Safe Harbor Sheer Mineral Natural is actually one of my favorite, and I did not buy it because I'm working my way through a couple other brands because I have purchased them, and I do like them, and I can use them. I'm going to use that, but I will be returning to Sheer Harbor Natural Sheer Mineral. It absolutely is um, no, of the, no chemical sunscreens. They have an excellent product. They are above board. Um, I actually have their Safe Harbor Kids SPF 50. It is incredibly thick. This is something that I would probably only use in the winter time because I am very dry on the outside, very oily on the inside. And actually, I will mix with my sunscreen half and half, equal parts. This right here, let me see, turn it around. It's Lily of the Desert um, Aloe Vera Jelly. I love this stuff. I've used it for seven or eight years. Um, once I found it, I will never go back to, I was using Fruit of the Earth Clear um, Aloe Vera Gel. That's what really got me started on my aloe vera journey. But this is my favorite. And of course, the links to everything that's in this video that I recommend are going to be down below. All right. So you can also use something like, and this is, I only had this at home. It is BB, the Garnier BB Cream. And it has SPF 20 in it. But it, um, and, but it still has octinoxate in it too, 3%. So it's, you know, if you're going to use something, at least look for the smallest amount. And the way to get around all this for people who have darker skin tones, and even myself, but I just haven't found um, a foundation because I haven't looked for it. I'm going to go several shades darker. So I would make three equal parts. I would put foundation in my hand, the sunscreen, made of the titanium dioxide and the zinc oxide, and the part of this. Mix it up together in my hands and then spread it on my face, making sure at the very end I do a pat like this because it makes it get all in there and I let it sit for a few minutes before I go on and put my makeup. So let's talk about Neutrogena. Remember I said I did not like the new and improved formula? I'll tell you why, because I have the new and improved formula and that's how come I know. But they are still with the natural out of the ground. Um, this one is zinc oxide. Yeah, zinc oxide, but pr predominantly. That's the most active ingredient that's in here, and they do not have any of the other bad ingredients, the chemical sunscreens at all. Um, I just, I don't know, it just spread better and was better with the old formula, but whatever the new and improved, 
I have to work with it, so I do. Here is the other one, Neutrogena Sheer Zinc Face SPF 50. And that too is the zinc oxide. And you know, some of this stuff I really believe is just repackaged to um, catch the eye for whatever you're doing. Because obviously this says baby. This is for an adult woman. They seem to be the same formula. Maybe not. I will say this. Out of the two, I would go with this one. Still mixing it with my aloe vera gel. So these are things that are very important to me, and I'll tell you why. Um, I have a friend, his brother died at 27 from starting with a melanoma. They're Dutch, very fair skin, blonde hair, and he didn't have insurance, so he died. 27 years old, leaving behind a child and a wife. I had a friend, her aunt, she started tanning uh, in the 70s and the 80s and was dead by the mid-90s. Actually, no, early 90s. Yes, preventable as well. That's why I called um, those machines, the time machines and the killers. And the other reason is Australia, and I think I said that in the video. You know, this was the late 90s that my friend's uh, friend came home from Australia. And so between the three of those incidents that all happened pretty quickly right in there, that's when I decided to wear sunscreen. It's not just for vanity. It's because the sun can kill you. It gives you life, but it can kill you. And as human beings, the generations that have come before us have really wrecked our world. And so we have to deal with it. We have to do better, but we also have to protect ourselves from what has been wrecked now. So I really hope that you hear me. I really hope that you go out and get something that's going to protect you. Even if you have to get some foundation and create your own BB cream in order to protect your skin, go on and do it. Not just for yourself or for vanity's sake, but because you love your family and your friends. Okay, if you like this video, please comment below. I want to hear from y'all and tell me what you think. Or if you have a product that you think is better, I'm always wanting to know more. And with that, I'm just going to be sending my love from the south and keep living life with a twist, y'all.